that. Now let's go to Madhukar Larda. He is the Director of Equity Research at Nuvama Institutional. Madhukar, uh, you must be listening to my colleague Anurag earlier. What are your thoughts on health insurance stocks? Uh, you know, of course, premium going up, but last few weeks we are seeing that there is a lot of buying activity happening there. Do you think that the health insurance stocks, the worst is over? Last few years they were in a very sideways kind of a time. Sure. So, uh, you know, I think in terms of premiums actually going up, this was very much expected. Uh, one reason was, of course, the master circular. Uh, you know, waiting period has been reduced to 36 months. Mortarium has been reduced from eight years to five years. And uh, uh, and there are a whole host of other changes to sort of, you know, improve the uh, claim settlement experience for uh, policyholders. Uh, you know, four hours discharge from uh, from hospitals and, and, and those sort of things, right? Now, um, it, Apart from that, uh, you know, all almost all health insurance companies have reported uh, numbers where you know they've said that uh, the the number of instances uh, has increased. Uh, the heat wave has been severe, so so as a result of that, the claims and loss ratios of these companies has also increased. Last year, also we had heard that because of high. Uh, because of the rainfall, we had a high number of dengue cases. So over the last two years, the private uh, health insurers and private general insurers in the health space have already been increasing their premiums. Uh, Star Health uh, increased premiums uh, on their largest product by about 25% uh, last year. This year, they plan to again increase uh, rates by about 10-15%. Uh, Lombard also has increased rates and they're also seeing higher sort of loss ratios. So I think this is in line and uh, New India, for example, uh, they've been, they had very high uh, loss ratios, almost 105% in the last year and combined ratio on the health segment was almost about 20%. So, uh, so they have to take uh, steps to uh, sort of uh, reduce these high loss ratios. So it, it's in line with that. Uh, and uh, probably I think things should improve from here, uh, given that, you know, these price hikes will get affected and, uh, uh, you know, companies will get a little bit more prudent in the group health insurance side with uh, at what pricing they accept uh, business. So uh, valuations also have corrected. Uh, especially for Star Health, if you see the stock has uh, come off quite a bit as well. So I think it, increasingly things are getting uh, more interesting for the space. Uh, New India is a little bit tougher to comment on because it's a, a bigger PSU and we see, uh, you know, uh, consistent uh, high claim ratios and high loss ratios of there. So that stock is a little bit uh, tougher to sort of, uh, you know, call out. Uh, as to whether this has bottomed out, yeah. So, uh, okay, fine. Uh, I want to understand how are the valuation is looking. You spoke briefly about uh, some of the commentary coming out of, and of course, the the price hike, uh, the premium hike moves. How are the valuation is looking in most of these stocks uh, for the next two to three year basis? And for Star Health is uh, pretty much looking a lot more attractive now at you know closer to five seventy five. Rupees. Uh, Lombard uh, is a little bit more expensive. Uh, so Lombard will be at about 32, 33 times. And uh, Star uh, will be closer to uh, about 25, 26 times earnings. So in that sense, uh, yeah, the valuations are, uh, I mean, valuations are on the, on the higher side. I, I, I mean, I don't think uh you know the the stocks are really cheap but given that uh you know these price hikes have taken place and probably things will improve from here on uh valuations are uh probably looking better uh especially for star uh than before yeah enough and uh, what about uh, the implication in terms of some of the other policies with a high sum insured could they also witness hikes what would the impact of this be according to you so even of there with uh, the, you should see price hikes across the board medical inflation has also been high 
uh, and uh, in in general uh, you know uh, this this uh, this was sort of very much expected uh, and company uh, and the private general insurers and standalone health insurers has been taking price hikes on a product wise basis uh, gradually over the last uh, you know ever since covid i think uh, right from fi 21 22 that fi 22 onwards uh, we are seeing sort of increase in uh, prices uh, at different sort of uh, product uh, levels yeah so this will continue yeah my sentences right all right um and what do you believe would be the overall outlook in terms of um, the growth for the industry there are predictions of about 9% um, for uh, july what is the overall outlook that you are with, that you're expecting for the sector as a whole and within this space given that you track the individual companies can you walk us through your outlook on which could be potential outperformers so uh in in the space i would say uh that both uh in in health insurance we have the group and retail health as verticals uh i think both these segments should grow in the range of uh, 17 to 21 22% year over year sort of numbers is what i would uh, still expect them to grow at uh and uh within uh, within that i would say that uh for someone like uh, star health uh, we would expect a slightly uh, lower uh, growth number given that um uh, it has a much higher retail health market share and they are uh, then the, and they are more sort of prudent in their underwriting practices uh so so uh we would expect them to probably grow their retail health vertical at about uh, 16 to 17% a uh, group health there would they would grow a little bit more and overall uh, my sense is that they should deliver about a 17 18% uh, growth uh, in um, health premiums lombard uh, i my sense is that the growth can be much stronger so retail health one should expect uh, about a 24 25% growth they have a much lower market share they've also launched a new product so there we should probably see a much higher offtake and lombard also has a very uh, strong presence in the group health segment and they are a little bit more aggressive over there uh, q1 number uh, of growth was also much stronger uh, for them in the group health segment uh, 30% plus sort of a number uh, over the year i think it should moderate and you should still see at least my sense is about a 25% growth in group health even for them thank you so much for joining in and sharing with us your outlook on the sector as a whole we'll take a very quick break be right back with lots more